Hello, everybody out there. Today's uh, February the 17th, Sunday afternoon. Kind of gloomy out. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about how you can talk to family and friends about uh, prepping. And a lot of people look at you all funny when you bring it up. But uh, I think I said in my last video, it's like having insurance. You have to have insurance for your house. You have to have insurance for your car. Um, I live in an apartment, so we have renter's insurance. And prepping is like having insurance. You, uh, you save up on water, food, uh... Katrina, and a lot of people bring this up, but Katrina is a good, really good example of being prepared for disaster. Because you can't rely on FEMA. Um, and whether it's a, a natural or man-made disaster, uh, if power goes out and it's out for a couple of weeks... Don't rely on on the government to come and help you. Um, and explain that to your, your family and friends. Um, and you can start small. Uh, buy, buy your wife or your husband um, a roadside emergency kit and, and put it in the vehicle. Uh, a small first aid kit. Uh, little things like that to get started um, when you go to the grocery store pick up an extra I don't know, can of beans um, the freeze dried food is a little pricier and that's only because some of the stuff either has a 5 year shelf life or um 25 year shelf life depending on what company you buy the food from the best thing for that <clears throat> is do just do research um the big thing is being self-sufficient like i said you don't want to have to rely on someone else and Keeping your family safe and prepared is it's a it's a big deal, especially the way things are going today. Um, <clears throat> you, you just don't know. I stock up on food and water. I have a halfway decent first aid kit. I did a few videos on, like, your radio, the flashlights. I have a couple of walkie-talkies. I want to, I'll do a video on those when the weather gets better. Because I, I want to, I want to actually test the range on them. But, uh, just sit down, I mean... I know well, you try to explain prepping, like I said, to your family or friends, and they'll roll their eyes at you. But like I said, you know, just share an example. And I think Katrina is the the best example that you can use. I mean, even the police weren't, some of the police were bad. They were doing just as bad as, they were looting too. But uh, your, your first responders, they're not going to be out there because they're going to be home wanting to protect their family. But like I said, just start slow. And if you have uh, young children, you know, kind of sounds weird, but Try and make a, a like a game out of it. 
you know, hey, we're, we're going to save a little bit. You know, when we go to the grocery store, we'll buy an extra bag of rice or an extra bag of beans. And we'll put these aside. Um, and take take your kids camping. If you can, if you can go camping and teach them how to start a fire. Teach them how to put up a tent or some type of shelter. Make it a make it interesting for the young ones. You'll get you'll get more out of them. Uh, what else? There's a lot of good uh, a lot of good books that you can pick up on it. Prepping 101. There's there's a lot of websites that you can look up. And just type in prepping 101. Um, some, pe- some people say have enough food for two weeks. Some will say three months. I think, I think FEMA has a, a list of how much water you, sh- you should have, how much food you should have. And I think FEMA actually says have enough for three months. Um, what is, I think, uh, one person needs like a gallon or a gallon and a half of water a day. But even when the, when your water is bad, okay, if you can boil it, that's good. But, uh, you need water to wash your clothes, to cook with, to clean with, uh, for sanitary reasons these are these are all the things that we need to think about uh hell st- stock up on toilet paper toilet paper paper towels uh baby wipes are good but uh even if your family doesn't get on board with you you can still prep uh get it take a closet in your house or if you've got a basement take one corner of your basement and just start adding stuff put them put put food in and totes or whatever Uh, as far i think i I think i brought this up before as far as canned goods go try and stay away from the acid, uh, stuff with a lot of acid in it, your t- tomato sauces and stuff, because the shelf life on that's not going to last you. I think even with uh, canned fruit, but I'm not sure. But if you can buy can- your your soup in a can, uh, baked beans, uh, even canned meat, uh, I would stick with canned chicken. But like I said, when you go to the store... Just pick up an ex, you know, an extra can of whatever. Buy just buy. What it, what's the same? One is none, and two is more, or something like that. But you're better off to have two of something than none of something. But uh, do do some research on the food. I. I do, I go with Wise Company and Mountain House, but uh, like I said, those, they're a little pricier, so I just buy a can every now and then. Um, The other thing is, (laughs) and I forgot to buy them, but uh, if you're needing something to eat, you can eat uh, milk bones, dog biscuits, the little small ones, with peanut butter. I was going to buy a box today and forgot it. But uh, I ate them when I was in the service. I met some guy. He was he was sitting on at the back of the barracks. And he was. I thought he was just eating crackers. And I was like, what are you eating, man? He said, try one. And I was like, they're dog biscuits. He said, but they're good. He had a jar of peanut butter. So I tried one. It was just like a dry cracker. 
And that's how I found out about eating dog biscuits. They're, they're actually not that bad. So, I don't know. Keep a, even if you don't have a dog, keep a box of dog biscuits. Um, other than that, like I said, if, if you can't get your family on board, just go ahead and, and start saving up on stuff. Hell, you don't know. I mean, spring's coming around. We got, we always have thunderstorms and if the power goes out for three or four days, you have no power, so that means all the food in your refrigerator is going to go bad unless you can eat it or share it with your neighbors. And then once that's gone, what do you have? But it's uh, it's like it's thinking ahead. Because we we're in some weird times right now with everything going on. So I would rather be ready than not be ready at all. You just <clears throat> we go day by day, but hell, you never know. Like I say, I always do the the what if scenario. But uh, if you can sit down and talk, talk to your family, talk to your friends. I've tried talking to a few coworkers, and they, I just I let that go. But uh, your your immediate family and and friends. Just sit down and talk to them. Give them something to think about anyway. So, I'll see you guys all next weekend. Don't work too hard this week. Bye.